What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today we're gonna to be talking about three platforms that I am in love with. One is Stripe, it's an amazing payment gateway that we use for just about every single website or application that we build that collects payment. Number two is MemberPress, which is a phenomenal WordPress plugin that allows you to extend the functionality of your WordPress site and make it a password-protected members-only section of your website where you can sell premium content. And then, of course, the third platform is WordPress, which allows you to manage all of this. Now, for the most part, if you want to change your WordPress website into a website that has a premium upgrade section for members and collect payment, Use MemberPress, it's a great way to do it. However, there's one little thing I found when I was setting up a couple different MemberPress websites, and uh, it's related to Stripe and what's called a webhook. And it's kind of a problem for customer experience, and I thought it would make a good data-driven daily tip to show you because it's actually not very present in the member MemberPress setup instructions. So what it is is this, this error that you can see on my screen right now if you're watching on YouTube and not necessarily listening on the podcast, but I'm gonna do my best to describe it to you. It's this error that says there's a problem with one or more of your subscriptions when you log in as a customer. And so we wanted to fix this. So the first thing we needed to do to fix this for our current customers, even though they had already successfully paid, is we had to go into the back end of WordPress under um, member press and members and we actually had to see where this particular member didn't have an active subscription then we had to go to member press and members and find our webhook key then go into stripe and in our stripe account we had to take our webhook key and create an endpoint by going to the developers section of Stripe. And on the left-hand side under API keys, there's an option called webhooks. We had to go into webhooks, create a new endpoint, and then paste our Stripe data-driven design membership um, webhook into Stripe. And then when we added this endpoint, that was the first step in making sure that for any new customer that signed up, they didn't get the error that our previous customers had gotten. Now, the second thing that we had to do to fix it for our current customers so that they didn't see the error anymore was we actually had to go into their Stripe transaction record and uh, get the payment code, which I'm going to show you here on my screen in a second. And then we had to paste that payment code into um, a new transaction record in MemberPress. So here's what that looked like. We had to go and get a payment ID, which you can see on my screen right now, copy that payment ID, paste it into a text edit program of some sort where it cleans off the weird code from the web, the extra HTML code. And then we had to go into our MemberPress subscriptions, find the subscription that had the problem, Okay, and then we had to add a TXN by hovering our mouse over the subscriber. So you're gonna see me do that on my screen right now. We had to add a TXN. And uh, this is, so this is basically going into a transaction that has already been processed, but it's showing as an invalid transaction in the back end of member press in WordPress, even though Stripe had it at a valid transaction and what's weird about it is your customer can access the content, but they still get this error. So we really, really wanted to fix that because it was a huge um, kind of alarming looking message to our, our clients. So what we did was we went in and we pasted in our TXN code at the end of, um, we basically like replaced the transaction number, okay? So when we re replace the transaction number, we're able to um, then go back in and set the same start date as the transaction. And then if, if it's like a monthly, su monthly recurring subscription or an annual recurring subscription, you have to set the next date in, in the um, 
expiration date column in WordPress, and then you save it, it's really weird, but then when you save it, it actually works. And so it's this, uh, this kind of odd situation where m what MemberPress and Stripe have done is they've done a great integration, but they haven't told the user, uh, the admin of the member site, in this case myself at Data Driven Design, that you have to take your webhook and create an endpoint for it in Stripe to avoid this error. And um, now that I've done that, all the subscriptions are working very well, no error message. And so uh, I'm gonna show you that on my screen here in a minute. And for those of you listening, um, if you want to go to dataoveropinions.com and find this article, find the video, um, be my guest, it's, it's a, a very good resource for you. Um, and uh, if you're just listening on the podcast, I do recommend that MemberPress would be your WordPress solution for a membership site. There's a lot of other options out there, but MemberPress is definitely the most user-friendly one. And, um, you know, I highly recommend it. So again, <clears throat> make sure that you go back in and have the correct dates, the correct um, expiration dates, make it a credit card transaction, from the drop down menu in your transaction settings in MemberPress, and uh, you will fix the issue with your current subscribers, and then any future subscribers will not have this issue. So, this has been um, a little bit of a technical one, but uh, a very, very useful data driven daily tip. If you feel like this has been useful, I uh, really encourage you to share it, comment below if you're watching on YouTube. And uh, if you're listening on the podcast, email me at paul at datadriven.design. Keep listening at anchor.fm slash paulhickey or at datadrivendaily.com on Alexa. I'm Paul Hickey. This has been your Data Driven Daily Tip. Have a great day.